Uh, hello everybody and welcome to another live session of coding. Uh, today we will continue with uh, the Mind Tripper, Mind Finder. Uh, this is the third session uh, and we will try to complete it. So let's show you what is. Mm -hmm. Let me close these other projects. Okay, so right now we are at this is the current uh, state of the Mindfinder. So this is the splash screen, and this is the the main window. So right now we I have added the the market the mark, so we can select on a hidden uh, cell, and we can select as a possible situation of a bomb or if we are it's not clear what we want so with the right right uh, button of the mouse we can just switch switch between um, without any mark uh, the flag or unknown and the, it also avoids that you click o on the on this one so let's start. So here we have a bomb. Oh, I think it's a bomb, so we can just mark it. Uh, so you can mark them. So I'll just use them just to. It's easier just to to mark where is the bomb, and it's clear for you to continue. So this bomb, a bomb. Uh, these are bombs. Bombs, not, not. On this one and if we click in a bomb for example this one so the game is over so after the game over the screen it reloads and goes back to to the screen so okay so more or less it's working so I think it's almost done so these two, so this is clear, this one, this one. Okay, and this is a bomb, I cannot click it, but if I switch to no mark, I can click and fail the, the game. Okay, game over. So what I want to add is some uh, information here so that's why in the, right now the map is not filling all the the screen so i want to add here uh, more information and uh, one important thing is just to show um, when you fail to show all the bombs to hide all where all the bombs were located so provide some feedback because right now if i click a bomb i cannot see uh, the map so let's do that so let's start the editor mm -hmm. okay this is the editor and we are going to open the state so it was we are in a mine finder resources assets since scene number two, scene number two dot list. Okay, and this is how uh, it looks. Look at the uh, last time that we saw at it. So mm -hmm. these are the rules. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. Mm, uh, what we did, uh, what I added is this is the left mouse. Left mouse when it's uh, pressed, uh, it's checked if there is a collision. If it's a collision, then the map uh, press event is uh, fired, and it, it tries to unhide that position. If it's unhide uh, that position, then uh, all these uh, tasks just to uh, update the map in the drawing system is what we transfer from the logic uh, component to the map, ma uh, mind finder map. 
In the same way, if we use the right uh, pointer, the right button of the mouse, right mouse button, uh, we check if there is a collision with one cell, so we need the position if it's uh, a collision, so we get that information and uh, we use uh, the switch switch mark just to um, change the the status of of that of that cell so okay so this is more or less how it works and the game over that we added in i think in the last session or in the previous session is this one so what is done is when you hide one cell uh, in the logic if it's, if the game is over is check and if the game is over just load uh, the next scene the next scene is just the game over so what we want to add here is that if it's a game over instead of loading this uh, uh, just just at the moment we want to add here um, and some event between them so let's i need to correct this one so this one mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah, yes and one of these ones so i will need both so once uh, is the game over what we want to do is just to wait wait and this is mm, it will be mm, game over mm, timer or maybe it's a uh, delay delay ended okay so we remove this connection and we add it here okay and we will add this between so instead of whenever there is a game over just load the the next uh, scene we want to add uh, here uh, an intermediate action just uh, a pass through so let me check in the code because i have that one resources so let me check how can you see them so let's move this away so scene number one use that so this is uh, a pass through a pass through um, object here Uh, so this is just a delay, so it's a timer, so this is uh, set to 5 seconds. So we can use the same or a similar uh, pass-through splash, or it could be a pass-through or a delayer. So what we want is this pass-through component. So we can also in the scene loader, is in okay, the scene loader can have it, so we can put it here. So this is mm, the time that it will wait before loading the next scene. So in this case is five five seconds. So, okay, let's save. So we need to add this pass through components pass through to the editor. So moving back to the editor. Okay, I think that I will use more of the screen. Okay, so going back to the editor, we need to use that one. So here, it's the same. So it's the same is the e scene over is the entity. Uh, but uh, right now we are going to use a component that it's called mm -hmm, components pass through mm. components pass mm, through dot mm, el method and the method is let me check here quickly source components pass through it's called pass Pass delay it, delay it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Oke, okay, pas bilanya. Oke, okay, so it's through. Oke, okay, let me check it twice. Pass the layout. It's okay. So let me check if it's the same rule here in rule number one. So I think it's at the end, and it was called pass. Okay, pass the layout. Okay, that's it. Okay, so that's it. So adding this between um, the game over and the uh, next scene loader, uh, we will wait uh, this time. So let's save scene number two dot list and export the rules. Mm, scene number two dot wait. Okay, so they are exported. So let's uh, run it again. Run the man finder. So let's put this in a corner. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we have here the map and here there is a bomb. So I'm going to click it. So when I click, oh, it has not wait anything. Anytime. So why? So this is a bomb. No, it's not waiting anything. So let's check um, what's happening. <laughs> so this is the game over, and the game over moves to the scene overloaded. But it seems that this pass delayed is not working mm -hmm, pass delay it so let me check so pass delay it is here mm -hmm. uh, it's not here so we are using the mm, scene loader mm -hmm. number two no, it's not here. No, it's it's the it's the wrong place. So I don't know why it has not say anything. Because scene number one is the splash screen. The scene number two is what we are running, and this is needed. And not here. Not in the scene number two. Is in the scene number nine. That is. It's here. So this uh, okay five seconds okay so is this pass through okay yes this is scene number nine so here when we load the scene is the scene number nine the scene okay let's check it again Okay, so we click, and here is a bomb, so let me click, one, it's blocked, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay, uh, let me count it again. So it, it reveals the, the bomb that you, where you have failed, so if this is a bomb, and this is a bomb, let me check that we fail here or here and we click it so one two three four five six seven i don't know why it's seven seconds or maybe i'm counting too too fast but uh, as you can see there is a, a delay so if i try click again one two three four five six okay maybe i need to check uh, how i count
count. But there is a delay. So that delay, for example, here, it, it lets me to see. Instead of a, a delay of time, if this is only five seconds, we can add them, uh, uh, we can increase it. So let me increase it to say, okay, this is scene number nine. So scene number nine, instead of five seconds, so let's say that we will wait 10 seconds here or nine seconds. Nine seconds is the default. And we can add uh, more rules. So let's move back to the editor. Uh, in the editor, so we have the game over and game over delayed. So between this event and this event, so maybe uh, you can have different actions to move on. So for example, if you uh, just want to press any key or just click uh, with the middle button or whatever, you can add it here. So let's add uh, one more action. Where I need to to print it in. So we can add this way. So this way, whenever any of these two actions is uh, fired uh, successfully uh, run. Uh, the, the 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 game flow will continue and the next uh, scene will be loaded. So this is just a timer. So right now it's nine seconds. If after nine seconds you have not done anything, uh, then it, it will just fire this event and it will continue. But we can just abort it uh, before. So here we can, for example, uh, <laughs> read the mouse and check if there is any button press so we can use for example uh, this one illogic components collider has collided and if it has collided so it could be mm -hmm, it could be or we can say if any input most component most input is pointer pressed Or we can use this one just to say, okay, only if any, uh, if left, if left, uh, left uh, mouse button has been pressed. So let's use this one, E in mouse. So this is E in mouse components dot mouse input. mouse input that okay the problem with this one is that we need um, the ID before if not this is not working but I remember we have uh, any we have any uh, another option here so let me find it so it's was called it Mm -hmm. The mouse input has another option just to check if any uh, point any uh, button was pressed. So it's called is any pointer pressed? Is any pointer pressed? So here input is any pointer pressed? Okay, so let's check this one see I'm saving it I, let me export it okay so we are ready just to run again uh, the game so let's hide the editor and run the mine finder Okay, so these both are bombs and this is a bomb. Bomb, this is no. So let's check uh, with this one, for example. I need to change. So, yes, I'm going to click it. We need to wait nine seconds uh, in order to wait. We are waiting those nine seconds for, for the next screen. 
or I can press uh, any button. So I'm right now, this time I'm waiting the nine seconds. Okay. Uh, and this time I'm going just to uh, bypass the, the timer, just clicking. So if I click, no, it's not working. There is an error here. Mm -hmm. This pointer press, left pointer press. No, it's not getting the event. Okay, let me check again mm, the code. So, is any pointer press? Okay, is this input is anyone in press? Okay, I think that this one does not need anything. It's any printer press, iterator, printer press. So why is not fire this one? Mm -hmm. And there are no errors in the loading. Let me check the rules just to check that it was loaded here. Is any pointer press here? Game over. Is any pointer press? Mm -hmm. Mm, strange. And why it's not checking this one? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's using the default button that is the left one. It's just for the position. So let's add here. Mm -hmm. Is any pointer pressed? And we add this output this way. With this boolean, we can check if um, if there is anything fire. So let's run it again. Okay. And this is a bomb, so just click. Okay, is any pointer press? False. Is any pointer press? False. Why? Okay. It's returning false. This pointer press is returning false always. Is any pointer press? It's returning false. I know, not this one. Is any pointer press? Ah, oh, okay, it's checking the list. Okay, I think the, the behavior is, is not uh, what we expected. So it's checking the list and not the map. Mm -hmm. List, we get the list, mm -hmm. but why? Because we add, mm -hmm. we add the okay, 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 uh, because they are checking the list and the event, uh, the, the, the button pressed. It has been just uh, used by another method, so it has been removed. So that's why I cannot check it twice. So instead of um, this one, <laughs> what can we use? Hmm. It's checking get left button. Mm -hmm. Is pointer pressed? Mm -hmm. Is pointer pressed and it use the button ID. But this one is uh, consuming the event. Hmm. 
so interesting very very interesting because it's not working okay these are checking the list <laughs> all they are both checking the same list so we cannot use them we cannot use here mm, the so going back to the editor the problem here with this uh, method is that there are another method here and that is this one is pointer press that is checking all the um, clicks from left and right button and whenever uh, they are pressed then they are removed so left pointer pressed mm -hmm. Uh, I can uh, check left pointer press here if left pointer press mm -hmm -hmm. no it will fire so this is not working it's not working because we are already using so we can use this one the map has been pressed okay yes we know that there is a mouse but whenever it's pressed again this will happen this will happen also but this will not be fired because you cannot uh, hide after the game is over hmm. so hmm, this is an issue with the game engine that we cannot uh, check for a mouse press in two different times of the of the game so if the mouse is used for this one mm -hmm. okay i can add uh, a button just to to restart the game it, that could be an option okay because uh, <laughs> we can say here if it has collided with another action so with another uh, button or whatever uh, we can then fire mm, that one but um, right now it cannot be used so i need to check uh, a way to not consume the uh, events the problem with not consuming the events is that if you do not consume it, they are there over and over and you can have multiple of them so hmm. so why how can we use this hmm. how can we use the mouse to play with the with the minesweeper and when the game is over just to click uh, to check to use it here okay it's game over so one way is just to say okay it's left pointer press and we can have here two actions depending if we are running or not so left pointer press if we are running we want to do these actions but if we are in the game over and what we want is just to skip to skip the game over mm -hmm. so that way mm -hmm, we can remove this one the game over is game over not easy to implement this action so hmm. we can check so I cannot use it here so this cannot be used but I can call the scene uh, the, I can force this load uh, whenever there is a click of the button if the game is over 
Okay, 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 uh, okay. I know how to do that. So this is I have not used too much this option. Is seen number two dot list. So let's save it. So okay, the problem here is that we want to. Um, So when both are, <laughs> you can use this one. So when both, when both, <laughs> when both actions have been fired. So only if it's game over and and it's left pointer press. So this is usually done with this one. So. What we use is just to, whenever, for example, left pointer press is pressed and is game over. So when both are uh, at the same time, so we want to bypass, no, not this one. Oh, yes, we want to bypass the delay. So... Mm -hmm. So this is an option, so I can use this one with the e scene over components pass through, but yes, it's a pass. Let me check, that's, that's it. So we have pass and pass delay. Mm -hmm. Pass delay or pass is just a through. So this and uh, is uh, this action will be uh, run only when both input uh, events uh, are uh, fired at the same time. So when the game over or and left pointer press both are clicked, are fired. So left pointer and game over. If both uh, action both uh, events are happening, uh, this will be run. If not, we will try to pass uh, using this option, but uh, we need to wait uh, the time. So we try, it's not, so and this will be only fired this event after the 9 seconds. So this is only firing this event after 9 seconds. This will fire this event always uh, that these two conditions, game over and left pointer press, uh, fire in the same uh, loop, in the same frame. So let's check because mm, the scene number two, mm, I'm not sure if that's going to work, but let's check scene number two dot. Okay, so let's run uh, again the code. So hide the editor and run the game the mind finder so we can bypass the nine seconds if we click if we use the left click only so this is a bomb this is a bomb this is a bomb so let's check with this one so one two three four no i'm not bypassing anything it's not working the end I need to uh, still wait in the 9 seconds. 1, 2, it's not working. So this end condition is, is not working. Let me check if there is anything here. No, there is no error. Okay, 1, 2, I cannot click any in the any position because uh, when I cannot only click or try to hide uh, when uh, it's running. Okay, too fast. I have clicked it after the nine seconds. So okay. 
Okay, so <laughs> yes, I cannot bypass it. So let's check, let's check the code. So refresh, refresh here. Okay, I think I need to look for an end. Okay, this is left point press. <laughs> Type 8, number of branches 2. Mm -hmm. I think this was the code for it and the game over. So we have the pass, the game over delayed, game over delayed, mm, game over. It could be the game over or left pointer pressed. And you are using this one, but it's not working. Okay, let's check. I need to remove some. Is any pointer press? So let me remove this one. We are not using it. And go into the engine. Let's check that condition because that's important for the engine. Engine. Game engine. In the loop, there is a condition, not too much test. I think it's the first time that I using this option. So, <laughs> if it's uh, <laughs> rule manager get type, rule manager get type, and it's a get and type, and type is 8, and this type is 8, so 8 is 8, so okay that is run <coughs> what we do is in position equals uh, get branch position so we have two and one and rule modifier and uh, it's a modifier get rule manager get name so we get the modifier so modifier map get rule manager get name mm -hmm. so if and no and is not null so if and is null or and mod is different than null or time span is greater than max modifier state duration so which is this one is the tick events Generating in same flow. So this one is 100 nanoseconds. So I think it's enough. I think it's enough. So let's check uh, all this code. Mm -hmm. So let's run with the bug. My uh, finder. Stopping, I don't know where. Okay, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, but I don't want this right now, so let's bypass it. Okay, so this is a bomb, so I'm going to click on the bomb. So, okay, click, let's add this one and then I'm going to click anywhere. No. Not sure where is it. What's doing? Okay. <laughs> I think this one it will be fired several times because uh, we have an untype. So hmm. what's it's not fire is this one. 
all untrue. So if and equals null or un, I need to clone, set creation time, even get time is stop, put, get name. Mm -hmm. So we have a modifier map. Modifier map is a mm, tree map. So <laughs> what we do is just to get it. So when we get the end map, so this will be uh, anything after the first times. So if it's null, no, it, this is only the first time, or it's not null, but the event get timestamp is greater than and mop get creation time plus okay or if it's over uh, what we do is just uh, rule manager clone rm and put and mod rule modifier get name and mod the rule so these are the rm rm is <laughs> is the rule modifier so mm, we get the branch the branch uh -huh. okay the branch is this one this is the rule modifier so uh -huh. if it's an untype yes the position is the branch so we have branch position 2 and branch position 1 okay that's correct Position two on position one. This is in position. Rule modifier. We try to get it from the map. So we have two options that it's nothing in the map, so it's empty. The map is not returning anything, so it's null. Because get provides null so mm -hmm. the value to which the species in this the map or null if the map contains no mapping for the key so the rm the get name is this one is a very ugly <laughs> name but okay that's that's the name so when we get the name if it's the first time it will be null the next times it will have some value so it will be not null but the time stamp even time stamp could be greater than the get creation time and get creation time set creation time we set the time stamp okay so one is a rule modifier clone so we clone it this one we clone the rule modifier we update the time stamp and we add that to the here so and more name get name okay and anything it doesn't matter so it's supposed that it has some value and we say okay set and value this position so for example this one will be position two a true so the next time uh, uh, it will check the position number one position let, this is branch position one branch position two so it will be position number one and number two so both will be true because they are set here and what we need to check is this one it's unmod all untrue <coughs> and for boolean uh, for boolean in this and boolean Mm -hmm. I think this is the and so true and true is true and true so this will be I hope this and boolean is an empty one mm -hmm. so when we set here set and boolean how we set it configure and boolean 
configuran boolean if this and boolean is it's the number of bra branches okay 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 so the number of branches it's okay we have two branches number of branches is two but there is an issue here because we are setting the position and the positions here are one and two and it they must be zero and one zero and one so they must be zero and one so in some way in some okay they could be one and two so that means that here when we add the position is the position minus one so let me add a fix me just to review uh, position one and two instead of zero one okay so let's check now again if it works and we can bypass the the, the nine seconds okay this is a bomb so let's click it okay that's what i was expecting that the same click that i have used to click the bomb is used to bypass <laughs> the the game over so so it uses the same click <laughs> so not working as expected because when i click the bomb that the same click is used to to bypass <laughs> So the end is working with this uh, fix in the code, but the issue is that, uh, let's go back to the editor, mm -hmm. yes, here, when you click here, mm -hmm. so you click uh, this one, so you fire this left pointer pressed, so this checks if there is a collision to unhide the, the cell so it checks and it says okay you have pressed the wrong one so you have mm, pressed over a uh, mine so this fires the game over but we are remember uh, we are remembering uh, that left pointer was pressed so uh, it fires so one option one quick fish uh, quick, quick fix is instead of using the same mouse to bypass I can use the right one okay so using the right uh, pointer just to bypass instead of the left one is one option so it's a quick fix okay let's export uh, scene number two dot okay so just hide the editor and run it again so i think that it will it will work right now uh, with the right button so this is a bomb this is a bomb so let me just click over here uh, what's happening it's right now the right one let me check here because I, I think that it's not refreshing so game over so oh no it's right pointer press yes this is position two this is position one so why it's bypassing again it and right now it's not working mm, I don't understand so this is a bomb this is a bomb so when I click I cannot click the, the right click is not bypassing anything
So this and this one. No, it's not working. The right button. It's not working, not working. So it's a right pointer pressed. Mm -hmm. So this is fired by the left one. Right pointer pressed. So this is working, has collided. This right pointer is working because um, I can switch, I can switch the the marks. So this is fire. Mm -hmm, this is fire. So right pointer must be fire. And the game over is working because we are calling this fast delay. Mm -hmm. mm. No, no, I think it's not uh, that that way. So, Celu mm. hidden change this one. The logic is game over. Okay, but this game over is only mm, run if I click on using the left pointer and this pass delay it. Mm -hmm. Okay, this pass delay it is just using a delay, so it's delaying this game over delay it ended is delayed so it's just created at the same time that there is the game over but this is only fired the game over uh, once uh, when i have clicked the left button so <laughs> it will not be fired again so it's only fired once once and for this one i need to click left then some seconds uh, pass and then when I click right, so both events are not at the same time, not, not fired at the same time. So this way it cannot work. It doesn't work, this logic. So I want to bypass, so I want to, I think that maybe to do it simple because this game over is only check once uh, when it's here when illogic is game over when cell is unhidden uh, one thing that i could do is just to check the is game over uh, every time not just after hiding starts hidden one of them so it could be checked every time after we uh, press the left button so <laughs> instead of that way you can check them over and over so one option is just to check only when the cell is unhidden less code and the other option is just to check it after the click so it has an issue so mm -hmm. so if i add this code here this will be called whenever a uh, cell is unhidden on whenever uh, the left pointer is pressed so that way i can check all this code but the problem here is that we have a delay here and we want to bypass it mm -hmm. so right now we will have this one game over and this one 
Okay, so I click on the game over. Mm -hmm. I click the Thelun Hidden. The Thelun Hidden just reveal the map. But I don't want to use that click to um, to to move to the next uh, scene. So I don't want to use this the same uh, pointer press. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think I can check. Mm -hmm. So one option to move to the next scene is just to mm, change the state of the game to game over and wait nine seconds. This is one option. And the other one, I think I it's better if I do it again. So. If I click this one, right button, check if it's a game over, and just uh, load it could be. Mm, it's um, it's 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 an option with the right button because the left one is uh, is it's creating the delay one, so mm, I don't want to just click. Uh, over uh, one cell and just um, move to the next scene so I cannot use the left uh, for the same time so it will be needed just to, to say okay if it's um, I think it's it must say okay if, if left pointer uh, has fired the cell unhidden okay check this one but if not if not, we can switch to, to the next scene. So when cell is not hidden, or whenever the map is not pressed, so that's one, the one way is just to add one button. Is this is this is an easy way to do that? Is just to create a button. Uh, with uh, when you create that button, you bypass. To, to the next game, so you start, you restart, so that could be an option, I think, maybe it's better to understand, to have a button to say, okay, new game, so mm, I think it's an option better than click anywhere in the map, so it's not clear, so we can have this option just to restart after some time, or not, or maybe it's not a good idea, but it's better if we have here a button. So let's add uh, that button. So I think it's better. So let's move to the code. So here we have, we want to add, mm -hmm, we want to add um, a new entity in a scene number two. So we have a scene number two. We have these options, and we want to add a button here. So mm, this is will be mm, reload or, or new. It could be new game. So new scene number two dot uh, button new or start. So it could be used for whatever. So scene number two button, let me check where I have some buttons in which game. So in the editor is one of them. So resources, scene number one, and we have the new action, new, 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 new flow. Okay, copy, let's copy this one, copy. I move to the man finder, mm -hmm. control V, um, the button, button, it will be, it will be button new. Okay, button new, I have it here, so it's located, okay, almost on the top left corner, 
Uh, these are the positions. Okay, the collider box is the same, and use uh, in match atlas is use the space uh, buttons, space buttons. So it's using this one, it's the standard one, and zero, one, two, three, three mm, could be one option. Okay, is it? So this will create uh, a new entity with a new with a new okay so we have a, a new so let me add here button so we have e, a entity button new so we can go back to the editor entity button new so we can add here so let's move this more that way it's clear if we have more let's this way So here I want to create a new one. So what is it? An action, an event. So we will use the left pointer. And this is the new event is e new no e new or e new e, e button new button new. It has a components components dot collider box that has collided. Okay, if that it will say that mm, new button pressed. Okay and what we want to do when we press on the new button press so we can just call this uh, new scene loader so this call the game over so let's do that right now it's not the good one maybe what we need is just to reload but just call this one at the moment Okay, save scene number two that list and let's export the rules the scene number two dot rules. Okay, let's hide this one and run again the game. So right now it must show a button okay this is the button so if we click on the button nothing happens why not it's not working i click but it's doing nothing why it's not doing anything Mm -hmm. E put a new, put a new. Let me refresh because I think it's not mm, taking the new. Mm -hmm. The entity, yes, but not the rules. No. It's not working. Okay, button new, we have the button new, we have the collider, yes, it's a good position, okay, we can add this one, but it's not, it's doing okay, and the rules, let me check if we have the e button new, okay, we have it one, uh, we generate this event, Why it's not connected to this one? Oh, okay. Okay, uh, my mistake. It's I have done an incorrect uh, link here. I have linked to different. I have linked to events, so I need to link this event to fire the new scene loader. So the new scene right now it will be. Mm, 
run whenever there is a game over or if this uh, new button is pressed so okay I see number two that list and let's export the rules okay let's hide this one and run it again So when we click here, we have the option oh, not working. Why it's not working? Mm -hmm. Let me refresh. Mm -hmm. Refresh. New open. A new button press yes seen seen over why it's not working it's not colliding has collided has collided <laughs> why it's not working so components Collider box Collider box has collided has collided <laughs> Check collision with parent point the point Okay, so let's add here some code <laughs> New point. Okay, I expect something different from null. So let's click. Okay, and now it's working. I don't understand anything. So if I click the button, game over and it's restarted. So why it was not working? So this is a bomb, so when I click over the bomb, I can bypass it. I don't know. Okay, maybe uh, I think sometimes the, the, the Eclipse editor uh, needs to do, you need to do some modification in the code just to, to build uh, the program again. If not, it's using the previous ones. So. Okay, so button new is working, so it lets us bypass the um, bypass or just move to a new one. But instead of moving using the uh, scene loaded, so instead of moving to game over, I think it's better here if we add just to a reload of our uh, own scene. But so in order to call here the scene to load it scene to load it mm, okay that is an issue because this creates a loop <laughs> okay i think it's not uh, prepare this code to reload itself mm -hmm. so uh, when we do a game start so when we click this one uh, we don't need anything from the so I mean we don't need to reload mm, the sound and whatever the only thing that we need to reload is the logic so if we start here I think a new game it will be created so just to restart the the map So let's export rules. Okay, let's do a dummy modification in the code. 
and just hide this one the editor and run it again okay okay let's start with okay that's what so imagine that I have I was playing here and I want to restart so I click here no it's moving to the game over so I think it's not refreshing anything so let me refresh refresh okay so i click here so this is my game and when i click here okay it's restarted so this was my my running play so and when i click here it's restarted okay so i can restart so this is button just for restarting the game so just clicking here and you can use more or less the same so if you click on a bomb so you can wait or bypass the game over and restart so. and if you wait too much I'm not sure if uh, the game over is a good one or maybe it's instead of changing the scene maybe just uh, showing a pop-up or something like that Okay, it works the, the new the new game. It's working. So you can just click and restart. Oh okay, I have pressed the wrong one. Okay. Restart. <laughs> restart. Okay. So I can click on a bomb here, for example, and just wait or restart. Okay, so this button is working. So we have the new button. Mm, what else? Uh, what we don't have is a, a condition just to win. Okay, so let's check. We have some uh, things that are not still working as they it's, they are expected so one of them are in scene number two and this is seen when we create the logic and we said uh, here the rows and columns and the number of minds the same code must be used by the uh, the map so the graphical map so these two values here are copy and paste so you need to they need to match with these ones so maybe in the setup it must pass these values uh, to this one so let's this one just so for example if i said here that i want only a map of 10 rows and 20 columns but this one tries to draw uh, 15 rows and 30 columns 30 columns so i expect a null or out of uh, out of range okay this is the error because we are trying to access our array index out of bounds so you need to match this one so uh, the expected behavior or the ideal situation is that you do not add them here and just uh, pass this logic row and columns to this uh, my finder map so so in that situation what we need is in the logic that is the one that is providing the information just a method um, when we start the game so let me okay when we start the game we have the information so we start the game with the rows columns and number of minds so we can use that information instead of passing just a, a true here 
we can pass that information. So because <laughs> okay or not maybe uh, it's better just to to do explicit uh, when it starts the game it calls to get map mm. when it gets map the get maps gets only a string so maybe instead of passing the string we cannot uh, pass a more complex uh, information saying okay I want to pass instead of just the string I want to pass uh, an extract so an extract here is is um, is a, 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 a dummy a, a plain object uh, how about so it's a pojo so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so extract let me check what we have so we have cell okay the the logic must pass to the other component and okay if i pass mm, and the structure so both will need each other so both will need the information and they are in packages in different packages in different projects so instead of that okay i think i will create new ones even if it's um, more so it will be called get map dimensions so when you call get map dimensions so what i will return is just the the width and the height of the map so just return mm, these are integers so this is an integer array integer array so is the dimension that it will be a new integer with two dimension that is this um, so right now it's number of rows and this number of columns so this is the information that I want to pass to the other object get map dimensions and this ones okay okay this is a function in the logic to read it so we need another one in the component to the no, okay this is to export to yes and we need here one to write it in the code so action so this will be public object instead update map is set map dimensions object data in okay and this will receive um, the integer so mm, dimensions equals to i need to cast it to an integer array the data in and uh, it will set in this i think we have a set 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 map row set map calls okay so set map map okay i prefer with this dot set map calls to um, and this set map rows and the rows is the first dimension so it's dimensions zero and this is dimen dimensions one okay and return true oh or return dimensions yes in case anyone needs them so i can remove these ones and i'm going to pass the information uh, using some in these both methods so let's move back to the editor so whenever uh, the game is started okay the game is started the start games creates the map games started so what we need is only when game started we want to uh, okay we want to get the information of the dimensions and set the information of the dimensions so we want to add these ones 
So mm -hmm. the game started and what we'll do is just to call the entity logic then mine finder package logic class dot mm, dot 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 how it's called is I think it's what's called got dimensions mm, get dimensions let me check it quickly check it logic get map dimensions okay so whenever the game is started we will call this one mm -hmm. map dimensions got we will call this one okay so let's move this one and this will call the other the e logic components dot mine finder map dot and it's called mm -hmm, set map dimensions set map dimensions and the event it doesn't care we don't care about it but okay mm -hmm. map dimensions okay i think it's map finder no <laughs> it is oh, both are called my maps so okay let's say map uh, map 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 finder map and this is the logic so okay map dimensions mm, set okay okay we get the dimensions and here we set the dimensions so just save scene number two dot list uh, export scene number two dot right. okay let's do some modification here okay I'll refresh just to refresh and here some modification and let's run it uh, here. okay so uh, right now if you remember I have not said anything about the map so this one this one this one this one over here i cannot change it then because uh, i have win but we have not yet implemented the conditions for the win so if i change here in the logic i only need to change it uh, in one way so i can add 15 rows and 30 for example and i don't need to update the the map so the map it will be updated internally in so the map only needs this conversion between uh, how to draw or how to draw the cells and how to translate uh, the map so the code the text code or the codes that the logic uses uh, to switch them to tile index so which cells you want to draw for each of the just components or maybe in the the codes that you have using in the in the logic so we can change here in only one place and it must work because uh, the information whenever the map is started is transferred from one to another so there are only four bombs so it's easy so okay we have win so i cannot change new game let's click on a bomb so I cannot continue clicking because I have lost. If I wait the nine seconds, and the game over will be shown. If not, we can bypass just clicking here. Okay. 
Okay, and we can start restart again the, the game whenever we want. Okay. So what's next? What's next? Maybe we need to add more information about the win condition. So for example, right now we have win. We have win again, so maybe four is okay. So maybe we need to show here uh, how many cells are remaining or how, how many cells are unhidden and how many bombs are there in the in the map. So because we need to know mm -hmm, the condition, maybe, yes, I think the remaining cells, I need to check the logic of the original game. So let me check, I think I have one picture here in the blog, blog, yes, one finder in the blog. Oh, I have too much. No, this is another game. Mm -hmm. I have many examples here of other games. Let me check and what is it? Okay, here this is the mind finder and blog, which is the picture is called oh, instructions. Instructions. Okay, um, I don't remember uh, what okay i think one of them was a timer so one of them is a timer just to say okay if you are and the happy face is just to restart so i remember the happy face it was for restarting the game you have a timer oh, okay it's not a timer it's just uh, counting the time uh, how, f how fast uh, are you able to, s to solve so the I don't remember if it was also uh, keeping uh, track of, of your records for each uh, map. So uh, I think maybe it's not needed. I think all people knows uh, when it has won. So maybe what we can add is just a, a win condition. So let's add move back to the Let's move back to the editor and think about where can we add uh, the win condition. So, so the win condition can happen uh, can happen only after you have hidden uh, a cell. So it's more or less here. It's in at the same place that this one. So, mm -hmm. so when you unhide. Uh, yes, when you hide, you need to check if you have lost or if you have win. So it could be more or less the same logic than here. So instead of saying uh, it's game over, so if uh, if if you have win, is win or so we cannot hear the same logic here to say game win. And we can. <laughs> okay, right now I think that we will link it with the, this scene with the game over because I don't know if I have a, a win screen or any dummy win. <laughs> In pictures, pictures here, game over. I have the splash, no. Mm -hmm. And in the engine, I don't know if I have anything I can reuse. Uh, let me check resources, assets, pictures, images, game over, game over. I have too many game overs, but not our win one. <laughs> no. No, all of I have 
there a game over this one no okay so we can use another da, 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 space splash splash this one splash okay this is a splash one so let's reuse this one copy so we need a, a win screen or mm -hmm, and we think what to do uh, paste mm -hmm, mm -hmm. do you want to write no okay i cannot rename it okay mm, let me copy you see the the explorer so it's in the engaging engaging and uh, resources assets images uh, it's called splash um my finder resources assets images control v both files i want to keep both and this will be called the uh, win screen okay okay i have a win screen okay so uh, what we want to do is just to create what is it i need to solve this issue that is creating always in the middle of the original screen so we will add these two events and i don't want to load that one hmm. okay okay <laughs> okay let's add just uh, just a restart so we can do as we have done here just to restart the logic when the new button is pressed just uh, after this one we can mm -hmm. so let's add uh, pass through an event okay so what we will do is just every time after uh, one cell has been selected we will check with the logic in my finder package logic we will check if is uh, is mm, i don't know how to say it instead of it's game over is win if it's a win if it's a win we will say mm, win or one we won and we will use the same we will use a pass through so mm -hmm -hmm where to put this pass through this pass delay it if i add a pass delay mm -hmm. i can add it in the logic instead of it's seen over okay let that logic dot win finder and logic no logic no is a pass through dot delay mm -hmm. okay and this will be delay it one okay so after all of these ones I want to restart the game so we will restart the game so <laughs> maybe for the game over we can do the same to restart the game so instead of loading the the, the another scene just uh, link this one with the logic and restart so what I need is to implement this is win 
is win in the logic. So let's move to the to the editor. And in the logic, I need to add instead of is game over, it's the same code, but is checking the another state. If it's a win, we check win. Okay, so that's one of this one. And the other one is that we want to add to the logic, we want to add a new component. It's the same one that we have used for scene number nine. The loader, a pass through. So this one, instead of nine seconds, let's say that it's only five. Okay, five seconds. I think it's that's all. That's all. That's all. So let's save. And scene number two dot list and export oh okay uh, mm -hmm. okay there is an error an error let's move back to the editor there's an error here In its components no logic Components dot pass through mm, pass delay delay. Okay, so let's export the mm. scene number two dot rules and save it. Uh, scene number two dot list. So we can run it again and let's hide the editor. Okay, let's check. Let's check. I have added only. Uh, okay, we have lost. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, where are my 9 seconds? Okay, so okay, we have win. So after 9 seconds, the same, it will be reloaded again. The game, so let's change the state of 9 only. Okay, no, not here in the logic. Oh, okay, we have set 5. And it's not reloaded. Why? It's not doing anything for the win condition. So these are bombs. We have win, but is win. Start game, yes, start game. Why is not working? <laughs> let me check the rules. So, okay, let me refresh. Refresh, check the rules. Is win, then we won. Backwards. The one calls the pass through, pass delay, and delay one. Delay one, logic, start game. So it's there. So let's check again. So because sometimes it's a refresh issue. Okay. One. Two, three, four. Okay, it's working. So it's usually it's a, it's a refresh issue with the rules. I need to refresh. So we have one again. So we can wait 
five seconds and it will be restarted okay so what we can add instead of loading uh, a new scene is just instead of um, just showing a pop-up so maybe we can have something there about a new window or something else just to show to show it okay so in this case let me we have one bomb, another bomb, bomb, um, a mine, sorry, here. So when I click here, uh, we will win. So we have the conditions and we can bypass them quickly. So in the editor, we have the options here just to uh, check after here the every time that you click so when you click on the map so this is you click on the map because you can click on the map or click on the button if you click on the button a new a new game is is the, the map is restarted so this is the restarting map but when you click on the map it checks uh, it tries to hide uh, one of the seals and uh, there are it can happen different options so if it's a standard one just the map is updated if it's uh, if you it it's also checks if it's a game over a win condition if it's a game over it's just uh, takes some time uh, and delays the loading of the next scene so this is the game over uh, for the win, instead of loading a new scene, what we have done is just to restart the game. So, uh, of course, after the one condition or the game over, you can add here, um, for example, the pop-up of our new window, or you can add uh, different actions here. So we have it ready just to add more, more, uh, up, more uh, details or whatever you want so whatever the behavior that you want to to fire or to run or any cinematic or animations or whatever after the uh, one so maybe we can just pop up a picture so mm -hmm, i think that uh, okay i think that we can run an animation here with a pop um, animation or maybe just to hide some window but right now it's it's not really so and we have corrected this one just to whenever Okay. okay sorry for the interruption so i think it's almost done so mm -hmm. so we need to work more on the on the assets on the graphics graphics part in order to show something and maybe just to display the number of remaining um, the remaining uh, hidden uh, cells or something like that just to provide feedback about the progress of the, of the map so okay so let's save and that's all that's all for today see number two dot list so mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so that's all okay so uh, thanks for watching thanks for for listening to me 
and I think that we will continue in, in another session. Thank you. Bye-bye. Uh,